Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy Dean with Healthy Ambitions, a website and YouTube channel dedicated to the ketogenic diet. Today, I get to review a new product, the Keto Scan Mini. So on the keto diet, we always like to know if we're in ketosis or not. And there's three, actually three ways to test. You can test with urine strips, you can test with your blood, or you can test with your breath. I have done both the urine strips and the blood test, but I've never tested out the Keto Scan Mini before or any other breathalyzer of its kind. So full disclosure, the company that makes the Keto Scan Mini did send this to me for free so that I could test it out for my audience, but this review and my opinion are completely my own. All right, now let's get to the demonstration. When you receive your Keto Scan Mini, it comes with the device itself. You get three mouthpieces that you can put on the device, and you'll see the, the, it has a mouthpiece that slides out here. Now, these extra mouthpieces are only really necessary if you're sharing the device with other people. Obviously, you don't want to share germs. Um, but if you're the only one using it, then you can just blow directly onto the mouthpiece right here. And then, of course, you come with all the instructions, and you come with a nice little soft uh, carrying case. So I really like this. Now it does ask you to download an app that is called the, uh, just the Keto Scan app. And, but the app is totally free. There's no additional charges. There's no subscription cost. So it's totally great. So let's see how you use it. So there's a button on the side here and we're just gonna turn that on and the device will start to light up. See if you can see that. Maybe not, I think there's too much background light. Um, and then on your phone, oops, let me get it back you'll click to pair the device. So it'll ask you to put in your weight and then you know estimated body fat percentage and then you're gonna click start. Now it is gonna let you know um, a few cautions before you use this. You do not want to brush your teeth within 30 minutes. You don't want to smoke, but hopefully you're not smoking anyway. Um, you should not drink. If you drink any alcohol within the last 24 hours, it can skew the results. Um, it does not want you chewing any gum or candy within 30 minutes of using this. No food whatsoever and nothing to drink other than water, again, within 30 minutes of using this device. So alcohol, 24 hours, everything else besides water, no more than 30 minutes. I um, haven't had anything but water since I woke up this morning, so I'm good to go. So I'm going to confirm saying, yes, I have not done any of that in the past uh, 30 minutes. It is gonna wanna calibrate. It's gonna take about 25 seconds to um, count down the calibration, and it's gonna ask you to blow into the device for three seconds. It's gonna calibrate it. It's gonna let you know if it's good or not, and then it's gonna recount down to start the test. So it's almost, so far it's made me do this every time. I don't know that that's gonna be the case as I use it longer. Okay, so here we go. And it will pop up telling you to quit, to quit blowing. And I don't know if you can see it because of the extra light, but there's, oh, there it is, a little check mark saying, yes, it's all good, it's okay. And so now it is going to restart and it will start counting down again in a minute. Um, if you blow too lightly, it will air out. If you um, blow too hard, it will air out. So it can take a few practices to kind of figure out how, how much air you should push through there. So it's counting down again. The second countdown is about 15 seconds. So overall testing is gonna maybe take about a minute of your life, <laughs> which isn't too bad. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh. I did not blow hard enough, it aired out on me. <laughs> Okay, so I gotta wait for it to, and it actually it has a little X on it saying that I failed. <laughs> I failed at blowing into the breathalyzer. The good news is I don't actually have a lot of experience blowing into a breathalyzer, so yay me, I guess. Okay, counting down again. Let's try this again, see if I can get it right this time. Okay, and I've got my little, I've got my check mark saying everything is good. And it is going to test it. And right now it is showing 13. And there's what it looks like on the app. It shows 13. And this says you're in an optimal level of ketosis. My approximate body fat burn rate is 7 grams per, per hour. Awesome. Um, I am burning fat at a rapid pace. And it does say, though, to be careful not to go over 40 ppm. 
Um, occasionally when I've tested after eating, I've seen it, um, cause I just received it like two days ago. So I've been playing around with it. Um, I have tested as low as three and that says that's like the very early stages of ketosis. It really, the device likes to see you anything five PPM or over, but of course under 40 PPM. Um, so it's really easy to, to use. Like I said, it, occasionally if you blow wrong, then it will make you start over. But that is, that's okay. So pros and cons, I would say if you are adverse to pricking your finger, and I know a lot of people are, my husband and my son will literally start bawling like babies if I try to get them to poke their fingers, so they don't let me keto test them very often. For those people, this is great. Um, I think I'll be able to get my husband to start testing his ketones a lot more frequently because if I don't ask him to prick his finger. Um, compared to the urine test, they're great for beginning people who are beginning the keto diet because um, your body will produce excess ketones in the beginning. The longer your keto, uh, the longer you're, you're on the keto diet, the less effective the urine strips can become. And they're also, um, you know, the results can be skewed whether you're overly hydrated, under hydrated. Um, so again, they're, they're great. They're a great motivation tool when you're beginning ketosis. But for a long-term keto, I really think you should go with either the Keto Mojo, the blood ketone test, or again, if you are adverse to pricking your finger, there is this. Here's the other pro. The Keto Mojo strips cost $50 for 50, so a dollar a strip. And if you're doing a lot of tests like I do, that can get very expensive very quickly. I think I've already spent in the past year probably close to 150, I think I've ordered them three times, so about $150 um, replenishing the ketone strips. This doesn't have ketone strips, which will bring me to the one con that I see of this. There is a sensor in here that has to be recalibrated after 300 uses uh, or 12 months. Now, to get the new sensor, you have to send it back into the company. However, it is only $30. So $30 a year compared to, say I've already spent $150, I'll probably spend about $200 uh, by the end of my first year on the Keto Mojo. That's a significant cost savings. The upfront cost of this is a little higher than Keto Mojo. This is $150, but again, in the long term, you will be saving money with the Keto Scan Mini. Um, so overall, I like this. This cannot be, as far as the testing, it tests different types of ketones than what's tested in your blood and even what's tested in your urine. Your body actually produces three different kinds of ketones and each method tests a different ketone. So there's not really a direct correlation between this and say your the ketones that are being tested with your blood, but it is testing one of the three ketones. So you will be able to tell if you are in a state of ketosis. I am gonna be using this along with my Keto Mojo um, to test out different foods. I actually have a, a, a keto product I'm going to be testing out later on today and I'll be using both devices um, to test that. So that way you can kind of see how both are affected uh, with that. Um, so anyway, so if you are interested in this, I do actually recommend it. It's, uh, like I said, it's a lot less evasive than pricking your finger and um, it's going to be a lot of fun to play around with. I'm looking forward to testing a lot of different foods with it. So I will put a link in the description box below. I do not have a coupon code right now. Um, this can be purchased off of Amazon. So I'll provide my Amazon affiliate link to this product in the description box below. And if there are any other products that you would like to see tested, whether it is a, a, a device, if there is a food that you would like me to test to see if it affects your ketones or your glucose levels, please comment in the, in the comment section below. I'm always hip happy to test things out for my audience. And, uh, and that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next video.